I'm Joe Stevenson, and today we're going to be looking at the installation process for Codasys version 3.5 as well as the SQW CAN driver package. These drivers are necessary to interface with SQW hardware through the Peak CAN dongle. So the two zip packages that we'll be installing today are the SQW CAN.zip and then the Codasys.zip. Let's start with the CAN drivers. Once you open the zip package, you should see an stwcaninstaller.exe file. Run that to begin the installation. Follow the on-screen prompts, and the installation shouldn't take very long. Now the first thing it's going to ask you to do is install WinFlash, which is one of our programs that we won't be covering today. So we're going to cancel this installation when it gives us the option. So I'm going to click Cancel here, and then confirm that I'm going to quit the setup for WinFlash. Now the installer will continue, and it'll bring up a window to install the PCAN drivers. After I've confirmed all the dialogues, it'll install the drivers very quickly and we can continue on here. Now it says the system must be restarted to complete the installation. You can do it at this time, or it's probably better for now to click cancel to continue the installation without uh, restarting your computer. So let's click finish here. And for now, we can just move on to the Codasys installation. Okay, now let's open the Codasys zip file. And once it's open, let's go to the CD data folder. And here you can see a list of programs that are included in this installation. The ones that we're going to be concerned with right now are the target support package for Codasys and then the Codasys installation itself. So let's just go to install cdstarter.exe and run that to begin the installation. Once the installation window is brought up, you'll see the first entry is the Codasys v3 setup. The other entry we're going to be concerned with is the SX3 target support package for Codasys v3. This is the SDW specific libraries and BIOS files that are necessary to work with our controllers in Codasys. We're going to start by installing the Codasys v3 setup. This setup can take a very long time to complete. Once the next confirmation window pops up, click that you've read the information, even if you haven't, and click Next and Finish to complete this part of the installation. Next, we'll move on to the Target Support Package and click Install. The next pop-up window might be hidden behind other windows or minimized to the taskbar. It'll have this icon here in your taskbar. Make sure you've checked Complete Setup and click Next. We're going to leave all three options checked here and click Next. OK, once you've reached this point, the installation should be complete and you can click Next to view a summary of all the things that were installed. Click Finish to close the installer, and it will ask you if you want to view the release notes for the target support package. We're not going to do that in this video, but feel free to, to uh, look through it. And that will conclude the installation. At this point, you should probably reboot your computer to finalize the installation. After that, you can run Codasys, and if you need to, you can view our other training videos that cover the actual use of Codasys and logging in to the controller program so you can debug data live. So I hope this has helped you, and thanks for watching.